I spent years searching for my father, and I never could have imagined what I was about to uncover. The Most Dangerous Animal of All is based on a New York Times bestselling book on the same name. It's about a very successful businessman named Gary Stewart who was adopted and had no idea who his biological parents were. Reading the book, I found it a book that I couldn't put down because the truth is, is quite fascinating. When he turns 40 years old, he's contacted by his biological mother and finds out a little bit about who his father was. The desire to know who my father was overcame me. My sole intent and my sole purpose was to find this man. The show is really about that itch, that compulsion, that obsession with finding out who his father was. My father was the Zodiac Killer. The unsolved case of the serial killer who called himself Zodiac. He spent years doing actually some really substantial research, digging up stuff about his father's past. I mean, he tracked down older relatives. He found police reports. Gary Stewart pursued this like a dog chewing a bone and uncovered clue after clue after clue. He became even more obsessed with it. We have more evidence now than we had when we released the book. There seems to be the possibility that we can break this case wide open. All of the book reviews saying, wow, this is the best suspect we've ever had in 50 years. The book is Gary's point of view. It's Gary's voice. And the way we approached the TV series was in a very unbiased manner to really search for the truth. We decided to bring on a private investigator that we had to look into every little bit of that evidence and either strike it down, verify it, we had to be investigators ourselves. A lot of the speculation in the book was preposterous. I was floored. There is a primal wound that adoptees have. If you weren't loved enough to be kept, how can you expect someone else to love you if you can't love yourself? I think we all want to know who we are and where we came from but what if the person that you've imagined is not who they are? Do you really want to open up that box? When you're adopted, you spend your whole life making up stories of who you are. To this day, he believes he is the son of the Zodiac.